What is going on guys, Tongo PR here and today I'm coming to you from Lares, Puerto Rico. This is the revolutionary town of Lares where a lot of history has happened and it's continuing to develop. Here is the best coffee, the best farmers. It's a town nestled right in the mountain region in the west side of the island. So what you want to do is you want to visit this amazing town, try coffee and now you also got to check out these amazing murals that have been going on. They made a little event called El Grito Arte where they wanted to assemble and show around in Puerto Rico a little bit of the town history and try to make it more of a touristy point for peoples and locals to come here and enjoy. And I'm bringing you the best places to visit here in this town. So why don't we get started with the plaza, let's go. So the initiative that they wanted to do here in El Grito de Arte is that something like the Yao Chromatic that I showed you in my video when I went to Yauco, they want to revitalize the town, bring a little bit of life and art and culture to it and make it a little bit more known to the general public. So that's why they filled out different areas of the whole town, different murals. So for each mural, you have a QR code that you're gonna scan. It's gonna be on your phone and you have all the location and all the pins of all the arts it's worth the walk around the town. But right now, it's a little bit hot. So we're gonna make it to the plaza and we're gonna cool ourselves with a little bit of light. So why don't we go over there and check it out. So here we are in La Plaza de Lares and right here, this is the middle square of the town. You can see as colonial Spanish as it gets, we have the plaza right there. We have the Christian church. On the other side of the plaza, right behind me, we have La Casa Alcaldía, which is the mayor's house. And around the whole plaza, you have main businesses, a lot of restaurants, different governmental buildings, as it is as every Puerto Rican plaza on the island. This is basically as a Spanish colonial as it gets. So that's why if you go to a town, try to visit the little plaza. But right now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna see all of these amazing artesanos and they're so craftful of everything they make here. You can see mundillo, which is basically kind of like a yarn needling authentic from Puerto Rico. We also see different key hangers, necklaces, paintings, uh, trompos, Puerto Rican toys everything you can see in a little bit of a farmer's market here in La Plaza de la Este trompo no, esto es un trompo gigante. Esto es, le dicen sarambo. Sarambo, sí, oh. Se le coloca un mango y con un hilo. Ahí se lo ala. Yo nunca lo había visto. Es sí. nuevo para mí. We have a live demo of how it works right here. Oh. Mejor con trompo y más fácil. Sí, menos peligroso. <risa> Exacto, también. Eso es 100% Pero... madera, las puntas son de trompo original. ¿Sabe? Un señor las hace, pues yo se las compro, porque él es el único que tiene el molde para las puntas. Ah. No aparece. And right now we just finished seeing the little market in La Plaza and we're gonna head up to the most amazing ice creams in the whole island, the most unique ones, la heladería original de Lares. Let's go there. Some of the flavors we have here are really unique because we have guama there, that's a Puerto Rican fruit. We have acerola, which is basically like cherry, coconut, tamarind, vanilla, chocolate almond, ginger. But here we get the exotic flavors like coffee, peanut, chili peppers, ají es. We have coquito, we have orange, we have cookie monster right there. Cazuela, que es cazuela? which is sweet potato we have banana right there carambola is star fruit here the wildest flavors we have rice and beans right there we have pineapple we have avocado dulce de leche we have corn right there arroz con dulce which is another puerto rican dessert in the christmas we continue the crazy flavors down here we have oatmeal we have arroz con candule we have Sesame seed, we have carrot, 
Brahmin Raisin. Lechosa right there, that's papaya. But we call it lechosa. Arroz con salchicha. Oh, that's a Puerto Rican staple right there, damn. We have garlic, cookie dough, and cilantro. What flavor did you guys think that I should try? Comment down below. I think I'm gonna get like two or three just to get a little bit of a sampler going on. But you can't deny this place looks completely amazing. This has been going on for so many years. It's completely iconic and historic. A lot of people from the island and people that are from the diaspora, they come here and they come here as a kid and they come back and it's like unlocking different memories for them. And the walls are completely 360 degrees filled with history, depictions, pictures, and everything you wanna see from your Puerto Rican vacations. So now we just got cazuela, which is a uh, calabaza and sweet potato. We have arroz con gandules, and he plugged me with a little bit of cilantro one. So I'm gonna try those crazy flavors, and then I'm gonna give you the review. Let's go. So now we have the ice creams right here, we're ready. But first she's gonna tell us how her coquito ice cream actually tastes. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it like traditional coquito, like the one you drink, just like that? Ooh, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. So, I'm gonna try the cilantro one first. He just gave me a little bit of a, because he saw I was interested in this one, but I didn't know, but it kind of smells like a cilantro. I put my nose on it. And you can see a little bit of the leaves. Okay, you can definitely taste the cilantro. You have the little pieces of leaf. But it's sweet, it's super good, it's sugary. <laughs> oh my freaking God. I wasn't expecting it to taste like this, wow. But now we're gonna try el arroz con gandule and right there that's a pigeon pea. Rice, rice, rice. You got all these particles of rice and of all that thing. <laughs> this is a weird, this is our first one for me. I love the arroz con gandule but I haven't tried it nice. So let's try it out. A little bit of rice and everything. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. Okay, hear me out. You do have a lot of rice, more than I expected it. Uh, look at the look at the whole pigeon pea right there. It's a weird flavor. It's not bad, but it's weird. You're not. I'm not used to getting rice really cold and a little bit crunchy. Plus the pigeon peas are frozen, so they're really crunchy. Kind of like a chocolate chip crunchiness when it's cold in an ice cream. But not bad, not bad. I mean, I don't think I'll try it out ever again, but it's not bad, it's not bad, guys. You gotta try it while you're here in Puerto Rico. And now we're gonna try for the cazuela one, which is the one on the bottom. You can see the difference in the colors. This is pumpkin and sweet potato together with a little bit of cinnamon on top. So this one is what's gonna be my favorite. Uh, I just wanted to try this one. Ooh, this is really with the fall flavors, man. You get that kind of like pumpkin yams kind of taste to it, but it's really good. It's nothing overpowering. You still got the earthiness from the pumpkin and the sweet potato, but the sweetness and the cinnamon just stop notch. Really good flavors. It creates a balance of its own. Wow, if you are here in Lattice, you gotta try Crazy Flavors ice cream in La Laderia de la Original and enjoy it walking around the plaza. So, right now, we just finished the ice cream. We just finished here in the plaza and we're gonna continue walking to finish some of the murals and installment they made here in El Grito Es Arte. And why don't you say we continue walking and check it out. So we just kept walking and walking all throughout the town and you're gonna see hidden gems just like this mural right here. Look at that. 
we got all of these people you saw right here are Proceres Puerto Ricanos, historically important people in the nationalist movement. Look at this hotel, wow! Yeah, super nice. Hotel in the mountains. We have a pool and a jacuzzi right here. So we were just walking and filming around and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's an employee of the hotel. He just walked and told us, go in, go look, it's really pretty and forever grateful. Uh, I, would I would love to check this hotel out. Wow, que bello! Que hermoso! Yeah, diantre! Wow, está bellísimo, bellísimo, bellísimo. Coño, hermano, de verdad que sí, muchísimas gracias por todo. Y a la orden en San Sebastián, Dios somos David de los vinos. Amén. So we finally made it just in time because it started to rain through the final mural right here of the Nationalist Party father figure Pedro Alviso Campos and with that being done we finished everything here in the center square of Lares and now we're gonna go to El Mirador Mariana Bracetti where we're gonna get an amazing viewpoint plus some amazing Puerto Rican freeders which we're gonna go right now with the power of YouTube so I'm gonna tap that camera and we're gonna teletransport there okay let's go and we just made it here to El Mirador Mariana Bracetti so here we're gonna have to go to the viewpoint out there in the mountain but before we go there we're gonna stop and eat something really good unos rellenitos de papa it's basically like a big potato ball with the insides of different meat cheeses and everything so we're gonna check out and we're gonna choose one really unique for you and we're gonna see uh, some other of the Puerto Rican fritters you love so let's go and get some of the frituras So right now we just finished here in La Frito Lareña and we got a little bit of uh, Puerto Rican delicacy right here. So right here I chose El Pastelillo de Tres Carnes plus Mofongo. So it's three meats plus Mofongo right inside here of this pastelillo right here. And I'm just gonna break off a little bit of it so you can check it out and see how it looks from the inside guys. Oh my God, look at this. So you have the flavors and the earthiness from the platano of the mofongo plus the tree meat. It's basically a food explosion in your mouth. <laughs> Almost as big as my face. And so like thick and big. <gasps> That's what she said. Now let's go taste the other one. Here we have the alcapurria right here. And this is made from banana and it has meat on the inside. Uh, usually it's carne molida or brown beef. So let's break it off and show it to you. This is very traditional. You have to try this every time you go to Puerto Rico. Al Capur. She has one of a uh, pastelillo of beef steak or como le decimos aquí, beef steak. And here is what I talked to you about on the intro here in the Mirador Mariana Bracetti. Es el relleno de papa or potato stuff with different kind of meat. This one is the traditional one with just ground beef on the inside. But let me show you how it looks right here. You can see here the crunchiness a little bit. It's really crunchy in the inside. The mashed potatoes are just so soft in the inside. And the meat, always season on point. Mm. I can't say nothing because I used to skate and I used to do that too. But we just tried three different breeders from the island, really, really famous. So if you're gonna come here to Lattice, you have to make your stop here. They also have La limbers tetitas, limbers are the, what I compare it to frozen juice or something like that, it's really authentic in Puerto Rican. 
They also have the fritura, they have frappe, they have wood oven pizza, they have a coffee shop, they have everything you need in one simple location plus an amazing viewpoint. We're gonna finish this real quick, then we're gonna head up to the Mirador and we're gonna call it a day. So here we are in El Mirador, Mariana Brasetti, and Mariana Brasetti is her. She was born in 1825. She was the woman in charge of doing the Puerto Rican flag under the revolutionary yell El Grito de Lares, which was a revolutionary movement. They did get some engagement, but that is gonna be for another topic in another video coming up. But here she made that flag that you see underneath it. That's what it was known as the Puerto Rico independent flag. And she was the woman in charge of it. We're gonna keep walking our way through this path and we're gonna go to the viewpoint and Mirador Mariana Bracetti. Such a beautiful archway of natural trees and the shade on top of you makes it such a worth the trip. So we finally made it up to El Mirador Mariana Bracetti and Lares and here is the best view of the whole Lares town. And right there you can see, I don't know if you can actually see it, but that little red and blue in the distance part right here, that's where we were where we started our video. So we basically went around this whole town nestled in the mountains of Puerto Rico. If you really want to see a part two of this amazing town of Lares, go comment down below. Yes, we want to see it. Yes, we loved all the ice creams, all of the murals, the amazing art, the great food, everything in Lares. We loved it and we want a part two. Smash that like destroy that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications if you want to be up to date in everything Puerto Rico. I have amazing content coming out. My Instagram, my TikTok, my YouTube, everything is popping. You gotta go follow me on all socials, Tongo underscore PR, if you want that Puerto Rican content. So with that being said, guys, Tongo PR, let's go.